welcome back on this video i'll be showing you guys how you can create a simple self clicking app using sketchware okay so um the first step you have to take is you download sketch from your google play store so if you don't have sketch on your phone all you need to do is go to google play store then type sketch where so you type sketcher then if you don't have the app on your phone you can open it you can download it then if you have it you just open it and that's it so just go ahead to open the sketcher app on my phone and show you how you can simply create this app on your own without paying anybody any okay so just wait for the sketch to open okay so for the apps i have here you just need to go ahead and create a new app for the sake of this video i'll be calling the um test test app okay if you wish to get an icon for it you can but let's just make it snappy okay that's it okay so making a very simple app you can do without stress all you need to do is um I need to do is come over to these three dots, click it library, then click library to add no use Google add no it switch off, then you want switch it on, then you'll be asked to watch a video to unlock the place. Okay. A video of Down, you like to add the uh, click add manually using the banner. Bit. Okay, okay, so banner, banner one. So I have to go to where I saved my. I add new units to copy them. So now I saved it on my notes. So just go ahead to get them from my notes. So here they are new units. Just copy them. Copy the banner. Then go to the Just it. Okay. So I'll add the interstitials to interstitial zone. So we'll copy it again. So I'll copy this. Paste it. So and I need to wipe this so, so yeah, so I click add. And I've added the banners and interstitials now. So okay. So I have to click on next step. Click on next step. So here send a unit app. So for banner you click banner and select for interstitial add you click interstitials and you select 
then the next step configure test device no test device you just go ahead and click next then click save yeah now add movie switch tone so that's that for that one okay so allow this to load okay so after that you can now click you can now add the add views for the sake of this video i'll be adding only two then you add your button this button is for the interstitials you can change like stick one let's change the load Interstate shows okay. Then let's see the size change to twenty. Okay. Then let's see the width. Let's make it much apparent. Okay. So we are good like this. So the next step now is move to your components components you'll be adding the interstitial add here so for this interstitial add code is let's call it I -A. Okay. Interstitial add. so under these okay after that you go ahead to event then on this event on crates so on crates you go view remember we added two add views so we look for add view add view add view Add you, yes, yes, yes. Add you, okay. So you add to add views, you add two of these, then you can put the first one, put the second one, and select that's all for on create. So come to view, click on the button. Want to be coding what will happen when you click button one. Button one is for the interstitial, is to load the interstitial as remember. So that's how you come up with these settings. So when you click button one, you want this to create and to load. Okay, you want this to create interstitial ad and load interstitial ad so that's it when you click the button one so we are almost to an end to show you how simple this app is to create and you can end by self-clicking without paying anybody any dime so okay if you click, click on add loaded on add loaded you click show you add this component show okay so on go to load here's what you do go to um, components you add this block Oops. then you come to operator you look for um, to stream with decimal to stream with decimal then you put this error code then you go back so going back it says automatically so after that I think you're done with this app you can run
Ah, tu zona. Okay, the app is still running. On the next video, you can use APK editor to make the real ads show because the ads that will be, out, will be showing very soon is um the test ad then you install. Wait for the app while it installs, then you open. Okay, so with the ads to load, you can see the app was created successfully and the data ads are showing. Then you click load into stations yo exactly that would be the end of this video since you successfully created this simple app the next thing i use apk editor to make this app show you as okay so that will be that for this video.